Hello, my name is Akash Manaswi from Orlando, Florida, and I'm in the eighth grade. One in every three bites of food we eat, over $183 billion to the global economy annually, and 80% of global food and crop pollination. That's what bees give us. Unfortunately, every year, beekeepers lose more than half of their beehives. According to the USDA, the number one cause of this decline is the varroa mite. The varroa mite is a parasitic mite that feeds on the fat bodies of adult bees developing honeybee larvae. I 3D printed this model right here that shows how big a varroa mite would be if we were to be bees. But what if I told you that I had a solution to the largest issue that the beekeeping industry has been facing for over half a century? with just the press of a button. CO2 would be dispersed through these tubes right here and would sink to the bottom of the hive, causing the mites to fall off the bees through the varroa screen where they cannot re-enter. After a year of extensive lab work in collaboration with the USDA, I determined that I yield dosage from 10 varying dosages of CO2. First, I had to get a system for the CO2 to actually be implemented to expose the bees and mites. This is the system that was created. After all my data was finalized, I ran two ANOVA tests. Then, I created a line graph that can compare the non-binary data of the two independent variables in my experiments. I determined that the most effective dosage in my study was 30% CO2. The next step was to run a long-term effects trial. I concluded that 30% CO2 had no long-term effects on the bee's lifespan compared to 0% CO2. My treatment was shown to be slightly more effective and 25 times cheaper than the market's most effective and commonly used pesticide treatments without posing various side effects. If used, my treatment could save the beekeeping industry $7.7 .7 billion annually. Thank you.